God. It's time to release your inner nerd with your nerdy best friend. Beth Z, your nerdy best friend here with another deep dive. Let's look at some Gmail add-ons that are just, that really change the functionality of your Gmail. First off, in the labs tab, so this is in your settings, and the settings you go to by um, right above your inbox, there's a little gear, and you can go to the settings. The labs tab are all these add-ons that you can put into your Gmail to make things easier. So if you look here, uh, these are the ones that I have. I can insert images, shows a sneak peek just like Outlook. Um, multiple inboxes. Now this is amazing. When I use Gmail for everything now, and when I imported all of my different email accounts, let me click over here and show you my email accounts. I have several that go into there. It made it so that everything was just in a big pile, but now with my inbox, and I've used multiple inboxes, everything sent to one email address is put out right there, to another is put out right there, and then if I have more, I can do more, but then here is the big pile. So that's very, very, very helpful. You can also have the preview pane, which is nice, and organize it. I put on quote selected text, and that allows you when you highlight text in an email and hit reply that's the text that will show up in the email then here are some that I haven't enabled that but that can be very helpful such as canned responses now it says email for the truly lazy but that's not true this allows you to create those templates that you can use to send emails of things you say all the time um, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Docs previews these are so easy to implement. The Google Calendar would be down here over in the corner. The uh, Google Docs, um, you know, they can be left or right. There are some different options and things. But that really puts a lot of the Google features in your hands. Google Maps Preview. If you have Google Voice, you can hear it in there. Um, you can add a link, quick links to put right there. You can change where the right side chat is, left side chat, whatever you want. Over here, you have smart labels. Now, this is automatically labeling things that come in. I've had trouble with these, and if you read the rest of this newsletter, and you can see what I mean. But here are some of the other things. Let me show you a couple more pieces and parts that I have in enabled. This one is called Yesware. And what Yesware does, let me go back to here. Yesware shows me, this is somebody who wrote me uh, some questions about my website, the last things people have opened. So I can click right here and, uh, let's see, click right there and I see these people have opened what I've sent and when they opened them. It's a little creepy but it's not really because it really helps you understand if people got your messages. Then you can also track emails, you can have reminders to send you more information. Yesware is free for a certain number of events every month but I found myself reaching that capacity very quickly and so it's five dollars a month and I think it's really worth it. It's a very good tool for prospecting, following up with leads, things like that. I've also recently integrated with Salesforce and this is another kind of tool that's the same type of integration you can create a contact when people write in. You can create a contact um, that goes into your Salesforce automatically, assign things to your Salesforce. But Salesforce also has integration via email, so I don't think I'm going to keep that tool because it, it doesn't necessarily add enough to it. This is your nerdy best friend telling you about Gmail tools and telling you to nerd on.